Do you ever look at your kitchen and it's a bit of an eyesore and you don't have much time to clean it? Well, this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to clean your kitchen in 10 minutes or less. This is not a deep cleaning video. This is a video just to do a little touch up so it's better throughout the day so that you can focus on what you wanna do. All right, now I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes and go. The first step in cleaning your kitchen quickly is to declutter. So put everything away. If you see dirty dishes, put them in the dishwasher. Or if you don't have a dishwasher, put them in the sink. It's just to clear the surfaces so that you can wipe everything. Anything that we clean is gonna come down and then we don't have to go over our work again. So we're gonna start from the top and I'm kind of short so I can't really reach, but I could use a step stool and get up higher. But most of the hand traffic is gonna be near the handles. So I'm going to spot check everything. This is what our counter and floor looks like after eating. My toddler just loves to throw everything everywhere. So here's a mess to clean. Rice is just really hard to clean out of the rags. And I don't want that in my washer. So I'm just gonna use a paper towel and just scoop up all the rice that I can into this bowl. And then the one on the floor, I'm gonna also use the same paper towel. So I'm gonna just kind of sweep all of this rice into one place. And rice is something that you don't want to get into your vacuum too, or even your broom, because it's just hard to clean out. That's why I would recommend using a paper towel, because then you can just throw it away, paper towel, and just scoop it up with the paper towel. So it looks like I need one more paper towel. This rice just literally got everywhere. Okay, so this is compost. So I'm just gonna throw it in my compost bin. The chairs might be dirty too. Go on the side. With my all-purpose cleaner, I just use sal suds, just a couple of drops, and then water and hydrogen peroxide. And then I'll spray the rag. I don't spray the surface because I don't want the product to go all over the place. I want it to go directly onto the rag. And then I start from the corner of the counter and hug the corner and swipe so then if there's any crumbs or anything, I'm getting it all onto my rag. And then I can just kind of scoop it up with the rag and then I can fold it and then use the other side. So you can kind of clean things, lift things and put them back. A 
Okay, now the next step would be to clean the sink. And a lot of people on YouTube, they use so much product, but really you just need your sponge, your cleaning sponge. So this is one that I'm going to compost after this. And just a little bit of dish soap, just a drop. And this is enough to clean the entire sink. So you just need a little bit of water and you can start from the top of the sink and just get all the handle where it's getting touched and the backsplash around the sink and then inside the sink. So just clean the sides, the bottom, and then try and get inside a little bit. And then rinse everything. Now the last step is to dry everything. Since I have blinds above my sink, I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of wipe them down really quick. lift it up and just clean it behind because sometimes it splashes there. Just gives it a, a lot fresher feel. And then I'm just gonna dry the sink. Right here I see some Banana? I don't know what that is. Looks like it's pretty on there. Banana is so hard to clean. <laughs> I would go inside and, and wipe everything down, but right now this is just a quick clean. Now you're done with wiping everything in your kitchen. Now look down because your floor might be dirty. You can use a broom and a dustpan or you can use a vacuum with a floor piece. And this should take you no more than two minutes and vacuum as best as you can because the next step is mopping. And it's easier to mop if you did a good job at picking up all the debris and it'll take you less time. start from the back of the kitchen and then mop my way out and I try not to step on the wet floor that I just mopped because it tends to get more dirty that way and then when it dries you can kind of see foot marks so I always start from the back of the room and work my way out.
Well, there you have it, 10 minutes to spruce up your kitchen so that it's not so much of an eyesore. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.